Hello, I'm here on beautiful Gull Lake in Kalamazoo County, Michigan. And soon a group of professional shoreline contractors will be arriving for another hands-on shoreline construction training. We will be constructing encapsulated soil lifts on a rock base here on the KBS Shoreline Management Demonstration Area at Michigan State University's Kellogg Biological Station. Today's training has been generously supported by the Michigan Plant Industries Project Green, Trident Dock and Dredge, Cardinal J.F. New, MSU Extension, and Kellogg Biological Station, and the Michigan Natural Shoreline Partnership. The KBS shoreline on Gull Lake is subjected to seasonal water level fluctuations, moderate to high wave energy and occasional ice push. Encapsulated soil lifts on a rock base provide a biotechnical alternative to vertical seawall or rock riprap. Soil lifts will be used to rebuild a bank slightly above the ordinary high water mark that can better withstand waves and ice action. It's a combination of hardscape and softscape. It's biotechnical shoreline erosion control. We're constructing two different types of encapsulated soil lifts today. One is a traditional lift constructed with the use of temporary forms. The forms are set on the rock base, lined with the erosion control fabric, and then filled with soil to create the lift. Then the forms are removed, creating a mostly horizontal bench that can support plant material. The other is a prefabricated soil lift. This lift comes pre-made with a core fiber log sewn into the nose of the lift for extra protection from ice and waves. These can be constructed without the use of forms as the core log provides a structural support for the added soil. Like the coconut erosion control blankets, the core logs will eventually biodegrade. Once a layer or course has been constructed, another course of lift may be added on top of the first, step back to create the desired slope. Today we're constructing two courses of traditional lift and two courses of prefabricated lift, making sure they're well secured at the joints. The top lifts will tie back into the shoulder of the bank, creating a smooth approach. Robust vegetation is the key to a successful soil lift project. Lifts may be seeded and or planted to shrubs, plugs, or even live dormant cuttings. Shrubs and cuttings should be placed between the lifts for sufficient soil contact. Today we're seeding our lifts to a native wildflower and grass mix. We're also adding a variety of native dogwoods grown in the greenhouse as plugs. It will take two to three years for the lifts to be completely colonized by the plant material. During that time, we'll be monitoring and comparing our two types of encapsulated soil lifts for plant establishment, resistance to invasive species, and ability to withstand site conditions. The resulting structure will be an attractive and stable rebuilt bank, a more lake-friendly alternative to vertical seawall, providing habitat for songbirds and butterflies. 